All right, hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 2.1, expressing fractions as decimals, found on page 48 of your textbooks. And the goal is to use division to express fractions as decimals. So take this down, take your title down, write the goal down, and follow along in your textbook. So let's have a brief overview here. All right, so I need to divide a fraction to represent a decimal. Uh, how are we going to do that? So if I have a fraction, 2 over 4, how am I going to represent that as a decimal? Well, I'm going to take out the handy-dandy calculator here. All right, 2, which is a numerator, divided by 4. And you can try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. It's easy. Just take out a calculator. 0 0.5. 2 over 4 is represented as 0 0.5. So, let's try something else. Maybe 2 divided by 6. Take our calculator again, and 2 divided by 6 will give me a very large group of 3s. 0 0.3333. Three, three, three. 3, 3, and so on and so forth. Now, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, these have names, specific names, and I'm going to go into them right now. Now, again, Phoenix, write this down, and we will continue. Pause if you need to. All right, definition. Repeating decimals, a decimal in which a block of one or more digits eventually repeats in a pattern. Well, if we take a look at the previous slide here, what do we have here? Well, obviously, he is a repeating decimal. It's repeating 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 and 3 over again. So, 0 0.2.2 over 6, 0 0.3333, 3, 3, 3, and so on and so forth. Now, if we take another fraction, let's say, I don't know, go in the textbook. 25 over 99. What's that going to give me? Let's try in the calculator. 25 divided by 99 will give me 0 0.25252. Five, and so on and so forth until the end of time. Now, since I have all of these decimal places, what am I going to do about this? Well, instead of writing the repeating digits over and over again, horizontal bar can be used to mark them. So, where's the pattern here? Where's the pattern? One, four, three, five, one, four, eight, one, four, three, five. There's your pattern right there. So you'll write it like this, 1, 4, 3, 5. And instead of writing all of this, all you're going to do is horizontal line. That's it. That's how you communicate a repeating decimal, horizontal line over the pattern. So then we know that this is going to repeat. All right? Easy. Very simple. And if we take an example like, 2 over 6. 2 over 6 gave us 0 0.33333. All you're going to write is something like this. There you have it. And if we look at the previous example, 26, 25 over 99. 25 over 99 what is the, would be 0. 0.25 horizontal line. Done. Finished. Write these examples down with the horizontal line and know that that is how you represent a repeating decimal. And finally, your friend in mind, the terminating decimal. Now, again, write all these terms down, write this example down, sorry, write this definition down, and then write the example down 2 over 4. 2 over 4, we said, is 0 0.5.
no horizontal bar, no nothing. This is it. It's done. Terminating decimal. Let's look at something like 29 over 40. Again, directly from your textbook. 29 over 40. Put the calculator here. 29 divided by 40. 0 0.725. And that's it. Nothing else. It terminates. It finishes. All right? So get all these examples down, including this example here. Write it over there. I won't write it there because it's right here for you. Maybe I'll just move it down, make it look convenient for you. There, you, there it is. Good, good. All right, so take this down and be prepared for next day. And we will review in class. But in the meantime, go back if you need to and take down all the notes, all right? Thank you very much, see you in a bit.